Salut France, bonsoir, bonjour. It is time to listen to Enzo. The song is Tick Tack, not to be confused with Tick Tock or Tick Tack to freshen your breath. I am super excited to see what the host country has to offer. Are you ready? <laughs> Let's do this. All right, hitting play. Oh, wow. Oh. Ah. A little trumpet action. Oh, wow. I love this burst of energy. It's so friendly. Yeah, thunderbolt and a flash. So... Reflects his energy. Yes. He's the maestro here, Enzo. This is vigorous. It's instantly alive. Yeah. He's got a very endearing quality. His clock is turning slowly, but this rhythm is picking up pace. I like this. It's got that TikTok immediacy. This is great. It feels free. You remember the moves, don't you? It feels youthful. It makes you smile. Oh, I love this. This dancing is on point. It's a little, it's a little wackadoodle. Oh, an electro swing. Oh, the children here are so happy and they're just being themselves. Charisma. Enzo, I believe, is 13. So and he charisma. does have a hand in creating his own music videos. So I wonder if he's done this himself. Because this is really high level. There's a little bit of mystery as well. These verses, they don't bore you. Oh, I love the beat here. Just you know, there's a friendly urgency here. I like it. Who's not gonna wanna do that dance? Everyone's gonna wanna do that dance. I would break my hip if I tried to do that dance. Bonner, yes. Oh, and I like all that, you know, the time machine, the clock, time's going, you know? One minute you're a baby, the next minute you're a teenager, and then, before you know it, you're collecting your pension. We're happy, France television should be happy. <laughs> He's only 13, but he's got me glued. Oh, I like the trumpet tick again. Tick tick tick. And that was Oh magical. my goodness. Keeping all that magic in the heart. That was so lovely. So positive. So life-affirming. So, you know, that's what this competition should be about, right? This was, sure it was poppy. You could hear this on the radio, TV, but it just had a feeling. It had this this joy. And this is what France has done consistently in recent years. Bim Bim Bap, not Bim Bim Bap. That's what I had for dinner. Carla's song. You had Valentina's song. You have this, it's all just uplifting and like, you just want to smile. It's just joyous. It's very, very joyous. Wow, I really, really like this. There's a really strong likability factor here. Enzo is very engaging, keeps you glued to him like that. The dance moves are very memorable. It's got a really strong hook. Wow. Valentina has sowed a seed. And Enzo is in the running to clinch it. This is fantastic. France has really taken this seriously. You know, without kind of saying that, you know, they're not in another contest. You know, this is junior and they've kept it junior and they've kept it universally appealing. I think this is excellent. It's definitely one of the strongest ones I've heard. You know, the song I read on wooblogs.com on the lyrics page is all about sort of stopping the clock, living your life, right? Don't get all worried and stressed. Live in the moment. You gotta, you gotta live for now. And they are doing it. It's, um, this is good. 
Albon Lico, well done to you. I also like the lyrics. Everyone lives at 100 miles per hour. Tick, tock, tick. But my rhythm, my music, it's talk, tick. Sharing happiness. Okay, you better partage du bonheur. It's just so... We should live like this. We all got deadlines. I gotta film this video so it can be edited. But we need to live like this. La tête dans ta boule, tu oublies que ta planète en est et une vienne en sort, en se promène, que chacun est la même. Okay, come on, we'll go out, we'll take a walk so everyone can feel the same, you know, is the same. I just, I love this message. I, I'm gonna stop. I'm just gonna say I can't wait to see this staged. Because the way France has done staging in recent years suggests they will nail this. They can do happy, frantic dance at J-E-S-C. That's what they give us. Very effective use of the backing dancers here. And with Valentina. Let the singer do his or her thing. Let the backing vocalists do their thing. Let the dancers do their thing. This is good. I am... This is a competition. It's all going to come down to that live vocal and staging. So it's kind of almost like... The kids will deliver their performers, so it's kind of like, what are these adults doing with the staging? What are the adults planning with the backing, the mixing? There is so much going on, and I can't wait to see how it goes down in Paris. Hi, y'all. It's Suzanne and Ducky Doo here in Atlanta, Georgia. We are going to review um, Giovanna and Dunja. I probably slayed that poor girl's name, singing Children's Eyes for Serbia for Junior Eurovision. I I get to meet these girls in Paris. Oh, Ducky Doo, I bet they hope they get to meet you too. Ducky Doo official on Instagram. That's who. That's where you can find him on a regular basis. So let's see here. Giovanna and Dunja, Children's Eyes, Serbia, the official music video. I am hitting play. Thanks, Mom. <clears throat> Oh. Violin, looking through a telescope. They're walking towards the violinist. I don't know what she's saying, but... Multiple violins. I'm captivated. Oh my gosh, they're adorable. <gasps> There's a kitty cat on the beach. Oh, Girl, this is so beautiful. Oh, you know. Oh, the kids are so cute. Oh, oh this is precious. Giovanna and Dunja are precious. Oh, Oh, I like this. There's an innocence here, a sweetness. This is beautiful. Children's eyes, you know, the eyes are the window to one's soul. And I think through the beauty of a child's eyes, you can kind of look into the future, the world. This is. I love it when they come together with a group of oh, children. Oh, these two girls are so adorable. This really touches me. This, I feel like this is transporting me to a different place. Oh, okay. There are aspects of the song that I like more than other aspects. I, as a total package, it doesn't quite gel, but I love that part. Da, da, da. 
I love the innocence <clears throat> and the authenticity um, in this song as these two beauties sing. Um, so in looking at the lyrics, it, um, it talks about how the entire world is in the eyes of a child. It's like the one tear represents the ocean. Um, and it kind of reminds me of USA song for Africa many years ago. We are the world, we are the children. Um, and how children are our tomorrow. And the music video is simple, it's effective, it's heartwarming. And this is what Junior Eurovision is about. You know, keep it cute, keep it, you know, keep children where they need to be and transport adults back to their childhood. And this does that perfectly. Um, I don't know how many of you ever look at the sweet, innocent tenderness, um, the soft, soft, perfect skin of a child and and just think, wow, I looked like that one day, or I, I looked like that once upon a time. Um, I do as I age and just the, the sweetness and the innocence and these babies wake up happy and they, they don't know that there is harm or danger. And then it's those society corrupts children. Um, society tells children that it's not okay to put on weight or society tells you that you're supposed to look one way or you're supposed to dress a certain way or be a certain way. And even our normal breathing patterns as we age become altered. If you look at a baby breathe, their little belly pokes out when they inhale and it comes down when they exhale. And as we get older, we start to <gasps> suck it in when we breathe because Lord forbid that the belly poke out. Um, but if we could all see the world through the eyes of children, what a better place it would be. I, I feel as though sometimes when we age and we come into our own and we progress on our journey, that oftentimes we return to what we were like as children as we find ourselves again and return to just being authentic and and to ourselves. And how amazing would it be if we never lost that? The synergy between both girls is great. And I like the focus on, you know, the fairy tale qualities um, that also have a much more telling quality, you know, peering into the eyes of a child. You know, you see innocence, you see sweetness, but you also see what the future holds, or you can see what the future holds. I like this. There's depth here, there's poetry, there's a sense of innocence, and there's there's a universality there. And actually then showing different children, some with glasses, some without, boys and girls. You know, I like this. I love the, just how beautiful and young and carefree these young ladies are. I love it when they come together with the other groups of children. I loved all of the smiling faces on the children, the glasses, the smiles, the different varying looks. It was just, this to me was a very happy, thought provoking song. I like this. I haven't heard all the Junior Eurovision entries, but so far this is, this is decent. This is decent. Beautiful, beautiful song. Um, you know, this is the first time that Ducky Do and I have um, really listened to any of the Junior Eurovision songs. And um, I just rather like the sweetness of them. So that's all I've got for now. Um, thanks y'all for listening. Thank you so much. We are turning our attention to Anna Jabrea, Stand By You for Albania. Now, the songwriting credits are quite the feast here. They include Adam Watts. He did the Disney songs for Demi Lovato. He did Hannah Montana. Yes, Hannah Montana. So this has some star quality behind it. Let's see how Anna lives up. Hitting Palais. Oh, there's the Eiffel Tower. Here we go. Mommy's a Bobby. 
nuk e kam treguar. Ja ndenja vetëm se pse ata i kanë fëqi. Nuk kto se çfarë kanë. Oh. oh wow, this is a sad number. Oh, oh, these kids are sad. Se pse kur nuk më kanë thënë një fjalë atje. Nuk do të ikim në shkollë. We've all been bullied. Are we in California? Oh! Anna. Okay. I love this oh, rhythm. Yeah. Hello, Anna Jabrea. Yeah. Queen of the dance floor. Yeah. Oh, yes. Please, I need you to stand by. Oh, I get, I get what is happening. That was amazing. The build was beautiful. Loved those instruments. And now this soaring chorus. Well, you know this what? If good. you weren't bullying so much, you'd get better grades. Let's just put it out there. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, so this is the chorus. This is not predictable. This doesn't follow a typical oh, song structure. Oh, no. This chemistry oh. lab has got me fired okay. up. Okay, it's like Albanian ethno... R&B, dance. Don't drop it. <laughs> yes. Ah, oh, pop. This is bringing a lot together, but it's still cohesive. This is not predictable. Why are people picking on this I love guy? that drum. Really? Leave that kid alone. Why you gotta be mean to him? Anna is the angel. Yes, be a buddy, not a bully. Real life and on Twitter. She's so happy. This is good. This is excellent. You just want to go like this. Believe in yourself. So many motivational messages here. Oh, school dining room, typical. I love her soaring vocal. Picking up the pieces. Here. A little soul going on as well. Yeah, take me to the bridge. She feels girl. the message. Never leave my side. Okay. This is just very sweet and uplifting, but it's not cheesy. This is well placed, very well placed. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, Anna is queen of the dance floor. Again. Oh, oh wow. She won. They won. Y'all lose. What I love about this, again, age appropriate, doesn't alienate the kids, doesn't alienate those of us who are a little bit older. I think that song again, is well-placed, right? When she sings in Albanian, it's amazing. When she moves to English, it's a smooth transition. It doesn't jar. It sits comfortably. It knows when to bend into the curves. It knows when to lean in. I like how it mixes pop with the ethno bop, with the rhythm and percussion, you know, kind of, there's a traditional vibe, but this is very modern. They, they've hit the sweet spot. You know what? Finding a total package is not easy. You've got to have the charisma. You've got to have a unique angle. You've got to have a great voice. You've got to have a killer melody. You've got to have choreography that moves you. And you've got to have a message. The message here is, I'll stand by you. Do not be bullied or do not bully. Let's all kind of just tolerate embrace celebrate each other right be a buddy not a bully i'll stand by you believe in yourself that is excellent you wouldn't predict that someone would send a song structured like that i love how they get into it really quickly right like if you're not watching the video if you're listening to the song musically they get into it and yet you don't get bored sometimes people get into the song too early and then you're bored halfway through Whereas here, from the beginning, they grab you, they, they take you to the soaring place, and then you stay with them till the end because they have that heavenly bridge, and then it has this, like, rhythm section. Ooh! And the moral of the story is this. If you spend your time bullying others and oppressing others and keeping them down, then you spend less time actually improving yourself and being a better version of yourself. And it is evident 
because the one who was being bullied actually did well in school, but the ones bullying got low grades and low grades does not signify a bright future. So spend time on yourself instead of putting others down. That is golden. This JESC is good. This is going to be a competition. The live vocal will obviously be very important. She's working with Luca Tomasini. I don't know how much movement there will be, but what I liked about this video is that the choreo was not over the top. It wasn't too complicated. It wasn't like, but there was still movement. Because sometimes you can have simple choreography and it's boring. This, so this had simple choreography that was effective. Excellent. Memorability, it's there. If someone hurts your heart and you're feeling really low, I'll be there to pick up the pieces. La 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 la, la la la, na, na, never let go. Fierce, fierce. You remember that, yeah? Choreo. Message. Do not bully. Do not stand for bullies. Protect the victims. How can you not like that? At some point, you know, bullying is so bad that long after you've been bullied, you still feel a sense of intimidation and you feel unsafe around you. It, it, it is so pervasive and it is so lingering and it just goes on. Like even after, you know, the shackles of physical bullying, you've been freed from those, you still feel in bondage. So it's good to, it's good to kind of stand against all of that and have a point of view. Again, you know, I'm getting some, Michelle Arapo a few years ago, loved that song, Dimmin Dimmin Dum Baye, that was excellent. And this is giving me equally positive feels. I'm feeling equally positive about this. Anna Jabrea, congratulations. Ardit Jabrea, congratulations. Family Jabrea, congratulations. Luca Tomasini, you're so lucky to be able to work with us. Adam Watts, congratulations. Albania, congratulations. This is a potential winner, and I think that people are sleeping on it. Did somebody say Luca Tomasini was doing the staging? Did somebody say Angela Rika was doing the choreography? Hold on a minute. Who wrote the song? Adam Watson? Okay. Let me just put all that out there so you can start recalculating. This is beyond amazing. Fick Jr. came to slay. The eagle has landed. We are now going to listen to the Netherlands Junior Eurovision song this year from Ayana. So here we go. Um... Oh, suitcase and gargoyle. Dance Melody Grand Prix. What year was that? Oh, wow. She's beautiful. This meadow she's in is beautiful. She opens the suitcase. It has photos in it. Looks as though she's looking girl. at images of family from whom she is miles apart. Oh my gosh. Oh, now yeah. she's at the beach. Matasugo, okay. Oh, she's pulling out a rainbow kite. Looking towards the sky. I love her Katniss braids. Such a pretty melody. I don't know who she misses, but it makes me miss them. It's as though flying this kite makes her closer to these people she loves. Hope to see you soon. Wow. The song makes me want to cry. There's just so much emotion in it. Me too. Maybe it's a made up word. 
Oh, do you know there's a sweetness here? I love the rainbow kite. The song is mature in flavor, but the visuals and the, the treatment is innocent. It's sweet. It's endearing. And you know what? Ayana is just beautiful. I like her softness. I like her the vocals. The song gets a little even. happier towards the end, as though there's hope that she's going to see these people she misses and loves so much. I hope to see you, girl, in Paris. Wish we could fly. Board that KLM jet, girl. Yes! Matasucho Onu. Wow, that was such a beautiful song. Ayana is a beautiful young lady. There's so much feeling, so much emotion. This video really tells a story. She walks into this meadow and she sings about the people she misses. She goes towards the beach. She flies her rainbow kite, just opening up the suitcase, looking at the images of the people she loves of all ages. This mixed heritage angel is giving me kabuki vibes. I love her sense of spirit. Of course, the song was written about how Corona prevented her from seeing her loved ones in Japan, would you believe it? Beautiful sentiment in this song. I think it's something that we have all been feeling for these last 18 plus months. My gosh, we're, you know, eight. Oh my gosh, it's been way too long now. Um, but towards the end of the song, as, as she comes into the chorus, the music gets a little louder, it gets a little livelier. And I think that that means that there is hope where it's pointing towards the hope that this pandemic will come to an end and she's gonna be able to choose happy and be with the ones she loves. I like this. It's sweet, it's endearing. It's something that I would have playing in the background, but won't be able to ignore. Like I would sing along, I would like, wish I could fly away, hope to see you soon. I like it. Ayana is beautiful. Her voice is angelic. Um, wishing Ayana and the Netherlands and Matasugu Ono the very, very best because this song touched my heart. You know, what I love sometimes are entries that are super strong, but you don't think that they're even trying. You know, they're just like doing their thing, but it has an impact and this has an impact. Oh, I like it. First impressions, very positive. I can't wait to meet Ayana. Ducky Do, I hope you get to meet her. She seems like a very sweet girl, and I bet she's going to want to be your friend. Well, that's all we've got on Junior Eurovision and the Netherlands. Don't forget to follow, like, subscribe, comment. We are going to sign off now, and we'll see you later. Thanks. Bye.